she just a really good idol for us and we just want to be like her. When you have your first race in your life, what is your feeling? My first ride actually won and it was um, a, a massive price, a big outsider and the plan was just to get from A to B and have a good experience and it went and won and I pulled up after and I couldn't speak, I nearly cried, I was just so shocked. I think once you have your first ride, um, you'll fall in even more in love with it and you'll get even more hungry and determined. <laughs> have you been raising a bottle neck in your career and how did you get through it? I didn't start off my career going upwards really, it took me a while to get going. You know, I had to cross a few hurdles that way because I started off very, very ambitious. That was tough when things weren't going as well as I wanted but um, I'm glad it went that way because I managed to learn um, a lot in those years before I kind of stepped up. Have you ever hesitate yourself to not be a jockey? No, no, not at all. <laughs> um, I never knew anything else. Luckily for me, things have gone all right. But if they hadn't, I, I really don't know what I would have done, to be honest. <laughs> How do you keep your hunger? Like, you racing, they like riding that much horses. I just like riding winners. I like winning. I'm only 24, so there's plenty of things I want to do <laughs> before I get too old. <laughs> what is the most important quality that you think a jockey or a rider should have? I think you've got to be resilient and able to Ride, ride through it really and work as hard as you can. I think I I can be a female like her. I think I'm suffering from hesitate to become jockey so I asked her about this and she answered me with a very firm no hesitation. <laughs>